YouTube fans here again and I figure why not why not about a doubt to this one it might have been a while but I mean to do it and it's not really one I should really be doing because you know it's a season to be sloppy and all this but I figure why not it's pretty sad and you know loads of sad pace and so on but this is to do with movies I mean to do it for a while and a while and a while and that is 100 sad moments in movies one of the sad moments what I think in movies, I can do it in 10, I can do it in 10 years and so on, but this is what I think what people can anticipate but sad moments in films that even make me, a tall old man, cry my fucking eyeballs out. That's right. Cry my eyeballs out about lying in the bed and being a lazy fucker. Back in work tomorrow, but I'm not going to cry because I like working anyway. But anyway, moving on from that. The first sad moment in movie history would have to be The Tamp, 1979. Well, they did one in the 30s and all. And I think the 30s one, yeah, it was sad, but the acting, you've got to understand, you've got to understand, in the 1930s, the acting was done differently and now it was done back in 79 and today's era. Done differently, so there's bits where it's overhyped, it's overacted. It's not wooden, I say it was overacted, but again, different era, different time. But the 1979 Tamp, is it a boxing movie? Is it a fighting movie, let's say, like Rocky and all that? No. No, I'd say it's more of a drama. It's to do with a down-and-out boxer. And he gets his son, and he loves his son. The, the mother from who used to be his partner is rich enough for tasks. He isn't. He's trying to better himself. You know he's never going to better himself and the son looks up to him. And he, he's told not to fight again because one more ball to the head would kill him. But he wants to better himself. He wants to make something of himself with him and his son. So he does have that one more fight. And he wins. He wins and you're happy about it. And you're happy that he won. But then because he's had one more fight, he's been more not to. It overdoes something to him. It makes him pass out. And he dies in front of his son. And you know the bit where the son says, don't die, Tamp, don't die. I swear, every time I see the Tamp from 1979, it makes me fucking cry. It makes me cry day doll. It makes me cry like a fucking baby. Because it's so sad, it's so emotional, the acting is... It's not as overacted as what it was in the first one, even though it does have a similar ending. And normally, I mean, I've got to admit, I've got to admit, I'm not a lover of remakes. I hate remakes, but that one of the Tamp was a damn dud. Tamo. Damn good Tamo. Um, the other one, what is a boxing film, and is the saddest moment, would be Rocky Free. Rocky Free does have a similar scene to the Tamp with Mick, Rocky's trainer. The bit where he has an heart attack and he's dying and Rocky's fighting Mr. T and he uses, because he's got that on his head, and the bit where he's going, Mickey, not to die, not to die, but you know he's going to die. That performance by Sylvester Stallone, fuck Rotten Tomatoes. I'll say that again from the bottom of my fucking heart. Fuck Rotten Tomatoes. I've done that, but you fucking sigh. Shit for everything he's done. Did him shit for first blood and the epic performance he does nearly at the end. Did him shit over lock up. Did him shit on this film here. Did him shit, shit, shit in every film he fucking does. So you know what? Fuck you, Rotten Tomatoes. And I mean that because that performance I does when Mick dies. Honest to God, every time he does that performance, I fucking cry. So you know what? Fuck you, what and tomatoes. Sai, wherever you are, mate, you deserve an award for that, mate. You deserve a fucking award for that performance. Because that even today, that scene when Mick passes on, and I know the actor's no longer with us, may he rest, that makes me fucking cry, Dado. Makes me fucking cry. And another Wacky film that makes me cry is Wacky 4, where... A poor cheed dies. He fights Dove London, it's Dodo, whatever his name was, Dodo. And he gets smacked, he's been warned not to, and he gets killed. And he dies, Dove London, very cold hearted. If he dies, he dies. But it's sad, it's sad because you know he's part of family. You remember him in Rocky 1, you remember him in Rocky 2, you got to like his character more in Rocky 3. So it's just sad to see him go. I didn't really think it was needed to kill him. I always say that with Rocky Four, But it was sad. Very sad. 
My other saddest moment would be Demnins. You know Demnins is a tis a tismus about burping, a tismusy monster sort of a comedy or a film. I say the bit where the girl goes about a far for dying, he's dressed up as Santa, falls down a chimney, breaks his neck. Now to some people, some people find that laughable. Some people think that's funny, but the way she delivers it, it isn't. It's sad. It's a guy who wanted to surprise his kids. Yeah, he shouldn't have done it. It was a silly thing to do, but he dressed up as Santa. He would go down the chimney, pretend to be Santa, and surprise his kids. Obviously, it went wrong, and he fell, broke his neck, and died. He didn't, well, nasty died, he broke his fucking neck. But you know what I mean? You know what I mean? But the way she delivers that, the way she delivers that makes me fucking cry. She tells that story, he engages you, you're listening, you're buying it and pitching it in your head. And I swear, it makes me fucking cry, the fucking ripper, every time she tells that story. It makes me fucking cry like a fucking baby. Really does, really does. And I would say my saddest moment would be an animated tattoo. And that would be Bambi. See where Bambi runs across the road and it gets shot. You don't see it because the dad make it mild. I understand. I buy it. It's for kids. But you've got the ball on. And it says, Bambi, your mum's not here now. She's gone. So I'm fucking crying now just thinking about it. So there's a, that scene is just so fucking emotional. It makes me fucking cry. And that wasn't fucking waterfall. Really does. Speaking of another animated tattoo that makes me cry. What are you down? Bright eyes yourself. Two lovely little bunny rabbit, and I'm a bit right for 1978 for an animated tattoo. And that was a ballsy tattoo, ballsy tattoo, because it doesn't fuck about, it doesn't have to be too PC for the little kid. It's only like kill a rabbit in front of kids, they're gonna cry. No, it's also what it is really like. You've got rabbits running on the wall, one rabbit gets killed, it gets splattered, it's sad, but reality that happens. No rabbit gets shot, it gets killed, but the end with bright eyes passes on for the fence that he went through and everything for it to go. I know the dad to keep it mild again because it was for kids, but you get it, he's gone, he's passed away. You've got the bit where he's lying down and you, you know where that bit where he, where he stops breathing effort, he's gone, he's gone. But I just love the bit where he fires off, he's going to bunny rabbit effort, and I just love the song, you know, bright eyes. Da, 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 da. I'm going to do the rest because I'll fucking kill the song But I just love the song, it's so beautiful And for me to be a towing man, I'm fucking crying my fucking eyes out Seriously, I'm crying like a freaking baby when I think about bright eyes Because it's so sad, it's so emotional And so on And I would say my next saddest moment in movie history would be Enemy Minds Enemy Minds, you've never seen it? Damn good sci-fi film Pick it up Look for it in any way you can. What's it? I would say it's like Star Wars. I'd say it's actually it's more of a drama piece. With Jeff and Chade, one of my favourite actors of all time. But there's a bit where his mate dies, giving birth, because he's an alien. They can, he's a male alien, can have babies, just like females. And he dies, giving birth. And you've got to see the expenses they've had. That makes me fucking cry. That makes me cry a fucking myth off. It really does. So it's my saddest moments in film. Does anyone else remembers anything that makes them cry in a film? Makes them cry like a fucking baby? Let me know. Be unbelievable. But until then, I ain't going to cry. But I'll see you. Be smart. Be gay. Hopefully I'll do some more movies and more things like this on the way. But until then, see you later.